Well, we're excited for the launch of the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. Let's go back to the early 2000s for a quick second and look at the launch of the original Xbox and the PlayStation 2. The excitement for these systems were at a fever pitch because it was a brand new generation and a new, and a new developer was in the console game. But first, let's take a look at the PlayStation 2. Though Sony's last system of PS1 selling like hotcakes in the 90s, in the announcement of the PlayStation 2 in 1999, people were already excited and of course, the day of launch, it sold out. One of the main reasons why it sold out quickly is because the PS2 was also a DVD player. You see, DVD players were expensive at the time and of course, you know, with the PS2 being a DVD player and the killer launch lineup and it being a killer system after the PS1, obviously it sold out really quick. PlayStation 2, now $499.95. With Microsoft's first run in the console business, it took a lot of work and a lot of advertising to get the word out about the original Xbox, but of course, with The Rock on their side, it, it, it shouldn't be too difficult. It doesn't matter what you think, Bill. And let's not forget about the original Xbox's launch in 2001. It got a lot of help from a uh, certain game. <coughs> Sorry about that. But Microsoft's first system in the console game wasn't really too bad. It was overall a great system, although they did have to take a huge loss because of course, you know, development and the games stuff like that and they bought out a lot of companies specifically a great one from the 90s of course rare and that publisher didn't really make too many games for the original xbox besides grabbed by the ghoulies and conquer 11 reloaded but overall the original xbox is a great system kids i'm home <laughs> The new Xbox original variety fun box now with all new games and platinum hits. Wow! Sonic Riders of Major League Baseball 2K6! Star Wars Battlefront 2? Stacked! Need for Speed Underground 2? Can we have some now, Mommy? You ruined your dinner. You can't eat them, Mom. Or can you? Oh. <laughs> Rated EDT. <laughs> Overall, both of these systems are certainly beloved by gamers like myself. And they both offer you something completely different. With the original Xbox, you have Xbox Live Arcade, and you have a lot of games with the PS2. You have a lot of games you can watch DVDs. Now, I know I keep on bringing that fact up, but it was really important at the time because DVDs were sort of a new thing. And I know I sound like a boomer when I say that, but, you know, it, it was important. But overall, these are, two, these are two great systems. If you're into retro gaming, I would highly suggest you pick them up. And now let's talk about the next generation of consoles, specifically the PS5 and Xbox Series X. Now both these consoles haven't released yet, but they both also offer something completely different. With the PlayStation 5, with the new controller, there's this haptic feedback. So let's just say your gun jams in Call of Duty, you're not going to be able to pull the trigger and, you know, shoot. And with the Xbox Series X, the graphics are looking really good. They're actually looking really nice, but... A big positive for me with the new Xbox is that it's completely backwards compatible with the original Xbox. Now, I know to a lot of people that's not really, you know, a big thing, but to me it is, you know. That means I don't have to pull up the huge Xbox and play it, you know, it's a better option for me. But overall, these two, these two consoles are looking pretty good. I mean, it's not like a huge jump from this generation to the, to the next, but... You know, I, I like these systems so far. Of course, one huge game I'm looking forward to is Cyberpunk 2077. Now, I know there's a lot of news about this game, and apparently it's going to release for the uh, Xbox One and PS4 first, and then it's going to release for the PS5 and the Series X, which isn't really good news for me, but it's whatever. You know, as long as this game comes out for next gen, I'll be happy. But overall, I, I like these systems. I like the next gen systems. It's just that I kind of low-key miss the old school systems, you know, they had a lot more charm, a lot more class. With with this, it's just conforming, oh yeah, there's a there's a whole there's a whole bunch of shooters, there's a whole bunch of you know new Fortnite updates, you know. To me, to me, there's something better about the old school consoles compared to the new school. But that's just my opinion. Shout out to you if you made it this far. And uh yeah, see you guys later. Have a great day.
sounds shaking. <laughs> 